Alright guys, what is up? Welcome back. So for today we have yet another Mortal Kombat 11 video and for today's video we do not have a leak, luckily. What we do have is some information that kind of lets us know that Combat Pack 3 has right around 3 weeks to get revealed. But anyways, before we get into any of that, like always, be sure to smash the subscribe button if you haven't already. So with that being said, let's get right into the video. Alright guys, so usually before I make a video, I look up things for the video to cover, right? Such as Mortal Kombat news, leaks, or anything that's come out. Now, I always start with looking for Mortal Kombat 11 news first, because i rather cover actual, um, real, confirmed material as opposed to leaks that could be fake. And when I was looking for it, I found this article, which as you can see says... There was a 135 day gap between Mortal Kombat 11's Aftermath release and Combat Pack 2's reveal. Where are we at now for a potential Combat Pack 3? So this article, I guess we'll read a bit of it and I'm going to explain why this article or basically what it says kind of points to us having just about 3 weeks to get a new reveal. So anyways, let's just go ahead and start reading. So this starts by this article starts by saying Following the release of Mortal Kombat 11, Aftermath featuring Fujin, Shiva, and Robocop, some fans began to wonder what was next for NetherRealm Studios. Was development for Injustice 3 beginning, or was there something more to come for MK11? Three months after Aftermath's release, Ed Boon would declare that NetherRealm Studios was not even close to being finished with Mortal Kombat 11. Then it goes on to say, Of course, the gap between Mortal Kombat 11's Aftermath release and the Combat Pack 2's reveal was 135 days. Once again, fans are wondering whether Mortal Kombat 11 will receive more DLC or not. As of right now, it is currently unknown if Ed Boon's not even close comment was intended to account for the content after Combat Pack 2 or if Combat Pack 2 is intended to be the end of Mortal Kombat 11's post-launch support. MK11 Ultimate and Combat Pack 2 were made available on November 17th. It's been 111 days since Melina, Rain, and Rambo were released as DLC characters. Okay, so really quick, let's recap. So between the Aftermath release and the Combat Pack 2 reveal, it was 135 days. Now, let's take a look at Combat Pack 1 and Aftermath. So Combat Pack 1, at least the end of it, the last character we got was Spawn, right? And as you can see here, he came out on March 17th of 2020. Now, when did we get Aftermath? On May 26. So the gap there was much shorter. That gap was only a 70-day gap. Now, from, from Aftermath to Combat Pack 2, it was almost double that. It was 135, obviously double of 70 is 140. It was literally almost double the time from the last Combat Pack 1 character to Aftermath. So why does this matter? Because let's look at Aftermath and Combat Pack 2, a 135 day gap, right? That, I believe, is the biggest, or should I say the longest wait time in NRS history from one DLC to the next DLC that we've ever had to wait. 135 days. That is the longest we've ever had to wait between, like I said, last DLC and current DLC. So taking that into account, as of right now, we're actually 112 days since Combat Pack 2's release. So we are getting very close to 135. And I'm sorry if I'm confusing a lot of you. I'm just, I just I kind of like math, but at the same time, I know it's kind of complicated. But it has been... 112 days right since we got combat pack 2 now remember 135 is the longest wait period we've ever had in nrs history so unless nrs plans to break the record and make us wait a new super long amount of time which i doubt they will that means there's only 24 days between combat pack 2's release to now and aftermath's release to combat pack 2 uh, and i know this is super confusing i'm so sorry but anyways, what I'm trying to say is there's 24 days. There's 24 days, actually 23 days, left until we hit the 135-day milestone that Aftermath and Combat Pack 2 had. So we have 20, 23 days left to break the record for the longest wait period we've ever had, which I hope does not happen. I would hate to break that super long wait period. And with that being said, 23 days is just over 3 weeks. So with all this combined and being added up and said, we, we should have three weeks, well, a little bit over three weeks until we get a Combat Pack 3 reveal. Unless, like I said, NRS plans to just shit on us and make us wait the longest we've ever had to wait, which I hope is not the case. 
And I'm so sorry for all those of you that I confused, but I really hope we do end up getting a reveal within the next three weeks, which is, like I said, what we have until we hit the 135 milestone, which I hope does not happen. Hey, maybe it does. I don't know, but hopefully not. And within these next 24 days, uh, we are going to get pretty close to the Mortal Kombat movie uh, re release. We're not going to hit it, but we're getting very close. So taking all this into account and really thinking it through, we should be getting some type of Comic Pack 3 reveal just before the movie comes out, which I guess would be a perfect way to get fans and people to watch the movie. Because, you know, anytime we get a new DLC in MK11, we get a bunch of people paying attention and putting their eyes to MK11. And therefore, the MK movie, you know? So it would be a really smart uh, marketing ploy if they were to do this. And I just, I really hope that's the case, guys. But anyways, mark it down. 23 days, just over three weeks until we should be getting some type of DLC reveal. But anyway, guys, that will be it for today's news. Let me know all your thoughts and opinions on all of this in the comment section down below. And for now, let's get to the comments of the day. So first up, we have probably not a new story. Mortal Kombat 12 will be 2023. So they need to effort towards that. If you think Mortal Kombat 12 is coming out in 2023, you must be smoking some of that good stuff, dude. Because it is not going to come out anywhere near 2023. 2023 is literally one month and... My bad. One year and nine months away. No way we're getting a new Mortal Kombat game in one year and nine months. No way. Next up we have... No combat pack. MK11 is done. Now, I want to put, pick this comment because I see so many toxic people in the comments saying, oh, you just want the next injustice, haha, <laughs> I hope MK11 lasts for years. And dude, I think that's hysterical because MK11, let's assume Mortal Kombat 11 does last for more years to come. Regardless of how long the game is technically alive, it's almost dead. And I'm not saying that to hate on the MK11 community. If you just look at the numbers, the number of players playing MK11 is at an all-time low. It is basically dead uh, players-wise. Now, if NRS does want to keep it alive and keep adding new stuff for years, go for it. That's perfectly fine. However, the game, for the majority of people, is already dead. We're already done with the Combat League seasons. We are done with um, crypt, uh, crypt events. We are done with so many things in MK11 that it's quite literally dead. So, yeah, guys, for all those of you that say, oh, Justice 3 won't come out for years, years, and MK11 is going to last, have fun with that, man. It's basically already a dead game. And lastly, we have, it's barely going on two years in April. Relax, it's just a game. So, I wanted to pick this because in yesterday's video, for anyone who didn't see, I said that MK11 has been out for almost four years. Now, I definitely worded it wrong, and a lot of people interpreted it wrong as well. What I meant to say that it is almost four years that Mortal Kombat 11 has existed in. Now, you might still be confused. Okay, so let's look at what years MK11 has existed for. MK11 has existed in the year 2019. It's existed in the year 2020. And it's also existed in the year 2021, which is where we're at now. That is three years that the game has been in. And as of now, we are only nine months away from 2022, which would be the fourth year Mortal Kombat 11 will exist in. So we are close to four years that the game has been in, in terms of years. Not actual years, but I mean the years in terms of number. 2019, 2020, 2021, and we are, like I said, only nine months away from 2022, which would make it the fourth year the game has been alive for. And um, I know a lot of you guys might be like, whoa, nine months is a long time. Guys, nine months passes like that. It passes so fast. So we're about to hit, not about to either, but we're pretty close to hitting the fourth year of MK11's existence. That's what I meant to say, which is pretty ironic because usually NRS does not drag out their game so long. But hey, if that's what they want to do, it's perfectly fine with me. But anyway, guys, that will be it for today's video. Like always, let me know all your thoughts and opinions on all of this in the comment section down below. Be sure to stay subscribe for more videos just like this one. Leave a like if you enjoyed or a dislike if you didn't enjoy. Thanks for watching and peace.